Paige now Charlotte and the greater community mourning the loss of a beloved business owner who died after a battle with COVID-19. A lot of people would travel to town for his produce, his pumpkins during the fall and Christmas trees during the holiday season. WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Sign spoke with his family about the legacy he leaves behind. David Simpson was known by so many who shopped here at Kings Drive Farmers Market. They knew his name and he knew theirs. His brother in law tells me he was supposed to be in the real estate business, but his roots called him home. This place just meant too much to him. And tonight he's being remembered for more than what he sold. His, his smile, you know, he just he's always smiling. David Simpson was the backbone behind a business so many have come to love. Full of life and uh, just a, a hard worker and just a happy guy. Kings Drive Farmers Market just outside of Uptown is a place for all seasons. Simpson would sell you vegetables in the spring and summer, pumpkins in the fall, and would likely sell out of Christmas trees by the holiday. The family has, has went through a lot in the last several weeks. Uh, it was a shock to us. Simpson's brother-in-law says David, his parents, and his brother all battled COVID-19. Three of them survived. David did not. There's a tremendous um, hole in, in our hearts. The family's faith and memories will get them through, like David knowing when each watermelon he sold was ready. He said, no, this is today. And then he'd look at it and do his thing, and he said, no, nah, this is probably another two or three days, you know. He'd be dead on it, you know. He always uh, made sure that his customers had the best, and uh, and they loved him for it, you know. But still, tough days are ahead. The hardest day is going to be when the opening day of the first Friday in April of the farmer's market. David may not be there, but his spirit will always bloom. Simpson was 52 years old. His sister tells me he suffered from asthma. He leaves behind a wife and three children. His family says they are now focused on making sure their relatives make a full recovery. In Charlotte, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte.